One of the scariest moments in my life was when I just started high school. I was this small little person in this massive giant school and I've heard about all the bullies and fights that happen. But there's this one thing that sticks out to me. It's this soccer team and I could sign up for it if I wanted to. I remember last year in middle school I'd always hear about these clubs and I'd just laugh at it. I never joined any club or something so I figured you know what I'm gonna YOLO it. I had such a blast. I had so many amazing memories from my first year of school but I really think I would not have had that fun all those memories if I didn't sign up for that soccer team. If I was just like how I was last year just laughing at the fact that someone might join some club. I strongly believe that sports developed myself into the person that I am today. I'm making thousands of dollars a month online. I'm way more confident now compared to my first day of high school. So many things are going for me in the right direction. My name is Timothy. I really like sharing things that I've done in my life and giving it to you so hopefully you can think about something that I say and actually get better because of that. If you like the vibe of this video so far, consider subscribing. I'll be trying to post more cool videos like these. Like, bro, I'm gonna be honest. When I was choosing the clubs, half the reason why I wanted to do soccer, it was just a leg day for me. It was just running, 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 running. And I barely had to train legs. Also, the skills that are required for soccer, like dribbling the ball, game sense, and all of those things, encouraged me to break the limit of what I think is possible. Whenever I had a game, I was so scared of messing up that I would actually mess up because of that. But as I got used to the running in the game, used to playing in the games, got better as time went on. Eventually, I was getting pretty decent. I played midfield and a few times I actually got close to scoring a goal, but I never scored a goal because I scored two goals. Yes, sir. But then as the fall season ended and the first part of the school year already ended, soccer season ended as well. Now, in the winter, I just played some indoor soccer, occasional basketball and table tennis and things like that, but I never really did anything at school. But when the springtime hit, I got introduced to this sport called lacrosse. At first I never even knew this freaking sport existed, but I'm glad I do now, because it's so freaking fun. The amount of physicality, running, stamina required for that game, respect to anyone who plays it. I thought we ran a lot in soccer, but clearly I didn't know about lacrosse. So during the spring, what happens to the weather? It rains quite often compared to other seasons, right? Well, when it rains, you can't go outside. And what that means is that you go inside. And what's the only really thing you can do inside at school? You can't really play a game or practice like that. What you can do is run. And oh boy, we did a lot of that. So we would run up the stairs, around, down the stairs, around, up the stairs, around, down the stairs, around, over and over and over again. We had no idea when we would stop. But because I've been building up my determination and stamina and mental mindsets to get further in the race, I was actually first place. I was lapping people, lapping the fat people, lapping the other people on the lacrosse team. So then the coaches realize this and they make this fun challenge. So over the spring break, we were supposed to film ourselves practicing lacrosse and if we didn't do that, then the whole team had to run five laps around the school. Two mother frickers did not film themselves playing lacrosse. So the whole team had to run 10 laps around the school. But because the coaches realized how fast I'm running and all the stamina I had, I really don't wanna glaze myself, but I just wanna make it clear that as I was running around, so many people were like, bro, how Timothy are you so fast? How are you not tired? Because I was still jumping up the stairs, stepping, skipping multiple stairs at a time, but they were just walking. So what the coaches do is they put me in the front of the line and make it so if anyone catches me, then we're all running five laps around the school. So from 10 laps to five laps, but, 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 if nobody catches me, then I don't have to run at all and everyone else has to run 10 still. So as I'm lining up in the front of the line, I look behind me and there's 40 people just staring at me. 
all all being like be a team player be a team player and you know i do be a team player psych i'm not a team player i want to win i don't want to run like honestly i could run those 10 laps but i just want to see how this will play out you know so i just do it the coaches say go i run and then open the stairs go up the stairs and then the coach says go again and I just hear a bunch of elephants chasing after me. We have like five laps to do this. The fourth lap, as I'm already passing a bunch of people, I see someone else sprinting. Sprinting at me and it's the other guy who's pretty fast and athletic, you know, so I might be cooked. So this guy's chasing me and this guy's literally right behind me. The coaches are yelling at me. It says, keep on going and don't give up. So. As we're on the last hallway to the finish line, basically, I run, he's right behind me, he tries going past me, but I go in front of him, so it's way harder for him to go, and he's like trying to juke me to get in front of me, but then I just block him some more and then just sprint up, go down the stairs, I won. Let's go, I don't have to run at all. Those losers still have to run 10 laps. <sighs> you know, I really don't want to say I'm him, you know, all those cringe people. That's such a him moment, bro. I can't even lie. Don't even get me started with the games. All the physicality, the amount of people I've seen get dropped on the floor. I could honestly talk all day about the lacrosse and soccer stories that I've had, but I really feel like it's worth it because it gives you something to do at school and something to look forward to. It gives you a lot more confidence. It gives you teamwork. It makes you a lot more active and gives you free leg days. All the stories you can tell, all the fun you can have, all the strength that you'll get from playing those sports mentally, physically, emotionally. All the friends you can possibly make. Because I'm playing sports, I'm able to make money because of the confidence and all the things from sports that just translate to other areas in my life. I don't really scroll, I don't relapse or do bad habits per se. And by the way, a quick thing I want to mention, if you want to quit your bad habits and start living a cooler life, start making money online as well. If you want to have a strong, close group of friends all working towards the same goals to get the amazing treasures of the ocean. I have a school of fish where I break down everything I've done to see some type of success in my life. I don't think I have all the answers, even though I laughed all those people in that indoor practice in lacrosse, I don't think I'm him but I do feel like I have a lot of knowledge on how to make money and stuff like that. So if that sounds interesting, click that school of fish in the description. But if you don't want to get that, there is a free like-minded club in the description you can get as well. I really believe sports will make school worth it and they'll make your life sick. So if you found this video helpful, interesting, cool, you like my story, consider subscribing, like this video, share it around, rate this video 10 out of 10 stars, comment below, what you think about this? Are you gonna play lacrosse? Have you even heard of the freaking sport? Cause I haven't like two years ago. That wraps it up for this video. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you later, bro. Take care, peace, bye bye.